uh, we realize th these are students who are learning how to be students. And so really to get started, we have this compendium of, of uh, how to study and what your requirements are. There's a syllabus that our syllabi are really much longer than we've seen others and like, that's a syllabus? You know, we have to, what's expected on Tuesday? What's the deadline on Thursday? You know, all these things are part of it. And I have a, a lifelong uh, passion for a concept called uh, studying for retention. And it is a way I learned before I started college, thank God, of how to read a textbook. And it's called SQ3R, Survey, Question, Read, Recite, Review. Now, English teachers, especially education English teachers, when I say that at a cocktail party, their palms went, oh my God, you've heard of this? You know, nobody's ever heard it. I said, yeah, I live this. But it's perfect for students because the textbooks are designed with a preamble that tells you what you're gonna learn, a glossary in the back to tell you all the terms you're supposed to learn, questions in the back. Uh, it's got a lot of space on every page. Everything is bolded. And, and they're only designed that way because of SQ3R. They want you to survey the chapter. They want you to question what you don't know yet. They want you to read, but read in portions, not the whole chapter. It's not a novel. And then they want you to recite so that you can write on the white area what you learn in, in your own words. And uh, there used to be an analogy that <laughs> no longer applies. But it's like when you want to, uh, you have a t big d d d dictionary, you know, 5,000 pages, and you're trying to find a word, let's say pusillanimous. So you don't know pusillanimous. It's a word that is used by some people. And you look it up and you flip through the dictionary and you finally find the P's and you see a picture of a pirate. You don't have those ink line drawn. You know that you need to go further and you go back and see a picture of a parrot. And finally you find pusillanimous. And your mind, your body, your soul, everything says, aha, I know what pusillanimous is now. Two months go by and somebody says pusillanimous. You say, I know that word. Your mind is racing. It remembers the pirate, the parrot, and it, remem it reminds pusil it remembers pusillanimous is on three quarters of the page over on the right hand side. I have no idea. When I see that, I just say, aha. So I teach the students this story because I want them to throw their highlighters away. Yellow, yellow, you know, green, green, whatever. When the final comes, their mind is going to say, that's important. I highlighted that. Oh yes, it's on this page, it's on the upper right hand side, and it is yellow. You know, that is really important. They don't remember anything about it. So we want them to write and recite and review learning this way. So I even go so far as to challenge students, well tell me how you're going to apply it. Now I know that a, the batting average here is in the, the low hundreds. <laughs> Maybe 10% might try it, but I've had graduates say, you know, that was the most helpful thing because I learned how to be a student. And it's called studying for retention, and this is, so one, I used this my whole life. And this was developed in the 30s, for God's sakes. It's really old, and it still applies. They're now telling teachers to get the computers out of the classroom, to give everybody a blank sheet of paper and a pen and have them take notes like we used to do. And it's because of that. Interesting.